So blissful, blissful afternoon, beautiful people. Remember these three words, community, friendship, and teamwork. Now, Habari Ghani. Habari Ghani. I'm going to see if y'all know how to respond. <laughs> With the spiritual principle of the day, I would have thought that there would have been so much more feedback. Even if you don't celebrate Kwanzaa, these are spiritual principles that we, um, that we uh, should be incorporating in our daily lives. That we should be teaching our children to incorporate in their daily lives. I'm just getting in. And I just wanted to lay down and talk to y'all because it is Ujama. Ujama is the spiritual principle for the day. Oh, I'm making a nice pot of soup over there. And them grenade and spices. Mm. Habari Ghani people, Ujama. <laughs> if y'all ever come to Grenada, make sure you got a separate suitcase for your spices. We are literally, really, the spice aisle. And um, when you drop some of them spices into a pot of food, it lights up everything. It lights up everything. I just wanted a nice pot of food today. Strictly idle. And um, that's what I'm doing. Yep, so I just wanted to talk about Ujama because it's about building, whether it's family, friend, community, businesses. It's really about building where everybody in the community can benefit. And I just wanted to big up a few people that I've partnered with along the way. You know, our business is 12 years young. Get ready to be 13 years this February. And um, I can't believe it's 13 years later. And, um, you know, and without like full entrepreneurship, without any other stream of income attached to it. And when I say stream of income, I mean working for somebody. That's been from 2018. So... Is it 18, 19, 20, 22, 23? No, it's not. It's 2016. So it's going to be eight years. Wait a minute. Yeah, 2016. Since we've been full pledge, full blooded pledge entrepreneur. So I just want to big up a few people that I've partnered with, especially my CMOS. I got to big up my CMOS Connect. Because he said to me uh, not too long ago, he said, Natural, I don't ever want to lose you. And I said, I don't ever want to lose you either. Because we feed each other. We feed off each other. And um, it's my opportunity to sensitize my people to healing themselves naturally. So everybody's benefiting. Anybody who puts sea moss in their body is benefiting. As long as you're doing things properly. You're not drinking alcohol. Because it could not go good. And I mean heavy alcohol. Like alcohol. <laughs> like you know, every other night or every time you go out and party or something. You can't, you defeat the purpose of CMOS. Especially, well, I ain't going to say CMOS, but if you got certain conditions, thyroid gland conditions, um, certain conditions, and you drinking with alcohol, it'll look like your CMOS ain't even working. So remember that. And um, so that's just one thing. I wanted to big up my CMOS Connect. Um, because they jeopardize their lives on a daily basis to dive and do certain things to get their hands on this beautiful sea moss that's at the bottom of the ocean wrapped around a rock. And I'm telling you, I, I, I appreciate them to the 100th power, <laughs> or if it's more than that, you know. And then I like to big up my, um, I partnered with Red Moon, if you ever on uh, Facebook or Instagram, check out Red Moon Culture. So I appreciate the fact that we partnered and she's able to spread sea moss all around the 50 states. Really down south, like you can come pick up. If you down where she is in that whole North Carolina area or Florida next door, like you can get your sea moss, you can get your gels. You know, for those, because I don't send out gels. I'm too far away. I just got the raw thing coming from the bottom of the ocean. And then y'all get it and y'all create all these beautiful gels and jellos. And I'm talking about Red Moon. So if you're down that way and you're not into um, blending your own sea moss yet. Or you're one of the lazy sea moss lovers, I call them. And you haven't 
learn how to or just not interested and you want it already get red moon if you want wholesale entrepreneurial startup packages want to go on business yourself get natural yes so um yeah we're just um relaxing today um if you've been following me we still don't have a rent a car from the car being taken and totaled um but one did call one was supposed to call today i was supposed to have it but all of them had said people will start returning tomorrow i guess for the new year anyway one guy called me and he said um i should surely have one tomorrow so it would be nice to have a rental car until they sort things out. And it seems like they're moving pretty swift, but ain't no such thing as swift <clears throat> in Grenada. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and finish chilling. This could be real important. Joe, that spiritual principle coming together. Now, hold on for a minute. Yes, so as I was saying. I'm sorry, I had to get my soup. I got everything in here. We got boniata, which is sweet potato. Mm. We got okra. Mm. Mm. We got some nice dumpling made with like a rye flour, like a grain. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We got tomato cooked down in there. Mm. And garlic, onion, mm. some all purpose local seasoning from the island. A little pepper sauce. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm. Damn, I had blanked out. That shit was good. <laughs> okay, so Ujama. You might want to start considering for your businesses this year, coming together with somebody. Because those two strong partnerships right there was the best thing I could have did for my business. I was trying to do everything by myself. You can't do everything by yourself in your business. And yes, you got to be careful about who you invite into your space. Please be careful about who you invite into your space. Because everybody's not on the same path as you. Everybody's not about building. Some people just about tearing shit up. <clears throat> Straight about tearing down. And not about building. Everybody's not. I don't care what it look like. So be careful. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. So before I go, please like, subscribe, and share. If you can do that. Before you come in, or as you come in, well, I guess this is the end of the video, so you probably wouldn't hear that until the end, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you have clicked like, clicked share, subscribe or returning subscriber. Mm. Habari, Habari Ghani, Ujama, we got a few more days. Please be incorporating these spiritual principles into your children's lives. You ain't got to celebrate Kwanzaa, but the spiritual principles that they uphold. It's a part of life that you want your children to have. You want them to be embracing it so they'll know how to treat people. And they'll know how people are supposed to be treating them. Because you really do have to teach people how to treat you, whether you know it or not. You have to teach people how to love you and how to treat you. We really do. So, have a blissful day and a prosperous new year. And share with me your experience about embracing the uh, spiritual principle today. I would love to hear. Thank you. Respect.